Kenny from Pro Tool Reviews. I've got Ego's newest, most powerful cordless blower with me today. It is a 650 CFM blower. It's got 180 miles per hour of airspeed. They're claiming it's the most cordless power, the most powerful cordless blower available on the market today. We're going to test that here in just a second. Let's go ahead and take it out of the box and uh, see what comes with it. Do a little quick product tour. It would be helpful if I actually cut all the way through the tape and get the box open. Let's see, there we go. Okay, so documentation. There's the nozzle. And it does come with at least one extra nozzle type. Here's the main part of the blower. And this is the kit. It comes with a battery and a charger. So let's move this box over a little bit and put this stuff together. Give you a look at the housing there. You can see a couple of the features that they've put on. And uh, we have a variable speed dial here. There are some kind of positive stops. There's really not a lot of distance in between them. So it's kind of this nice combination between an infinitely variable and, and having some stops in there. Uh, so that's nice. Turbo button on top, that's what's going to get us to 650 CFM. Just using the trigger and the dial here, you're going to go between 225 CFM and 500 CFM. And 500 really is an impressive number for a cordless blower to hit in the first place. Let me uh, go ahead and cut this off so it's out of our way. And uh, they've got a hook here. So assuming that's probably for a shoulder strap or maybe to hang it. All right, and let's see, actually looks like they've, yeah, so on the nozzle itself here, you've got kind of your standard, more wider uh, nozzle. You can use it uh, without that on there, or you can put this on. You can see that they've, both of these nozzles have a little locking mechanism on them, so they lock securely into place. And that locks in easily, and if you need to take it off, just right there is where you're going to release it. Okay, so here's the charger. One thing I do like about Ego's charger, they put a couple of keyholes on the back so you can hang this on the wall. Uh, I do have one of these hanging on my wall. It's nice. They also give you the distance there, so it's really easy to mount. Just a little thing. I like it, though. And the battery that they are packing with this is their 5 amp hour pack. <clears throat> Man, it looks like I got a little bit of uh, something on there. Uh, this is one of the newer batteries, so they've got the ring charger and it'll just kind of light up all the way around to give you an indication of how much power is on there. Obviously, they don't ship these fully charged. Nobody does. So that's the battery that comes with it. Locks into the back as always, and of course, it works with all of Ego's string trimmers, mowers, hedge trimmers, pole saws, multi-head attachments, all that good stuff. So, good balance. Just picking it up. I know you can't see behind the table, but yeah, it's got a little bit of a, just a kind of a downward angle to it when you're balanced, so, and that's exactly where you want it. So you're blowing as you go, and you're not having to really fight the blower to do it. Of course, 650 CFM, we expect we're going to get a little bit of pushback when we turn this thing on. So what else do we know? What else can we learn? Um, <clears throat> on the lowest, if, if you're like blowing out your shop or your garage or something like that, uh, and you don't need a ton of power on low, this thing will actually run for over 90 minutes on this battery. But on high, they're telling us to expect about 15 minutes using a turbo there. So that's a pretty impressive amount of runtime. Let's go see if it's the most powerful blower ever. All right, so now the battery that's shipped with this is not charged. I just took this one. It's also a 5 amp hour battery off the charger. It's fully charged. So we're going to get the most power out of it. And slide that on. So we're going to test a couple of things here. Uh, we're going to see how much Newton force this has in high, and then we'll kick it into turbo. I also brought the other nozzle with me so we can see what that one does. And uh, here we go. It's all warmed up, ready to go. And I do have the wider but still reduced a little bit nozzle on there, so that's what I'm using to start with. All right. So this is
All right, so 11.2, 11.4 newtons, that's high. And uh, that's getting into pretty close to what we see from homeowner gas models. And let's kick it into turbo and see what it does. I saw a peak over 19 newtons there, and even with pro-level handheld gas blowers, you're starting around 15 newtons, so this really is getting into gas power that we're seeing out of it. Hey, there's the cruise control. <laughs> All right, so let me take the nozzle off. Let's see what it does there, see if we get anything different, and then we'll put the other nozzle on and, uh, and see what kind of force we get from it. All right, so here's no nozzle. And... All right, so I saw a peak there of 19.7. It kind of settled in 19.4 was about it. So a little more overall Newton force without the nozzle. And then let's kick the other one on here and just see what it does real quick. Lock it on. All right. So that settled in a little over 18 newtons, and that's not surprising with this flatter nozzle, but regardless, all of these give you more uh, power than we're seeing from even some of the professional handheld gas blowers. So we're going to do some more testing with this. Uh, we've got the, kind of got the shop locked up right now, so we've got some uh, airflow, humidity, that kind of stuff that we've got to deal with. But uh, overall, really, really powerful blower, and uh, 299 at Home Depot or Ace is where you can find these. That comes with the 5 amp hour battery and the charger. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'm Kenny. As always, thanks for watching. Hey, help us out by subscribing to the channel below and tap that bell to get notified when we post new tool reviews and shootouts. And as always, thanks for watching.